Hello again, I am Zorana from Born to Produce and today I'm going to show you how to make an epic or a game soundtrack using orchestra in simple steps. most important things are good composition and the right choice of instruments. We are going to look at arrangement and variation later on, but without a good composition and the right instruments, it won't matter how good the arrangement is. So let's first look at the composition. Of course, there are so many different ways you could go about making a soundtrack for a movie. As we can't cover them all, we'll look at the fundamental aspects that are important for any movie soundtrack to be successful and have an impact on the listener. Making cinematic music requires that you have a basic foundation of music theory. If you're just starting out and don't really understand it yet, then check out our Music Theory for EDM Producers course, as this will teach you from the absolute basics right to creating a full musical structure for your tracks. So getting into it, you can choose any scale you like. What's interesting here is that almost all of the main notes, the ones that are on the strong part of the beat, are taken from the pentatonic B minor scale. Just so you know, the pentatonic scale has five notes, unlike regular major and minor scales, they have seven per octave. So here you will mostly hear B, D, E, F sharp and A. That's why the melody sounds a bit like it's from Asian traditional culture or like it's taken from some kind of anime. Okay, so we got our scale, now let's make a musical structure. The lower octave in keys and strings serve as harmony background for the intro theme. You should be careful when creating chord progressions. I prefer the emotional character of the intro and here is my harmony background. Making a harmony for pentatonic scale is no different than making for a regular scale, so taking the notes that are on the first beat and adding another note above or below to create harmonies. The main note to B is tonal chord and you can pick either D or F sharp. I prefer fifths above the first note, so we'll do the same with A note here, then again tonal chord and dominant one. I want to keep it low and moving the string notes to one or two octaves below is what I need now. As you can see, nothing complicated since it's only an introduction. Make space for more things to happen. Now, when we have the basic musical structure, we can build upon this. Make more sections and start filling it out with the different musical instruments. So, for the strings, I'm using Albion Spitfire and for the keys Heaviosity's Gravity. That is an awesome scoring software that will make every film score composer happy. And the first theme is played on keys Mystic Fifths. If you can't afford this software, there are plenty of VST options out there, like Albion Spitfire, East West Library and pretty good Cubase integrated instruments in Halion Library. 
It's important to note that you want to pick instruments that reflect the theme of the film. There are so many options that you can choose from, but be aware, you generally get what you pay for. So, if you want truly realistic and epic orchestra instruments, then you might well have to pay a bit more. However, there are many not so expensive instruments available, they might not be quite as good, but they may well be what you need to get started. You can always add ethnic instruments to modern orchestra tracks. That makes a perfect balance between classical, modern and old. So, taking it further, I took the last piece of the intro, repeated it a couple of times and arranged it for an ethnic instrument, Zeng Harf, that is perfect for this kind of composition. If you open your piece with low strings, you would want to add the high ones next. Here they are replicating the harf melody because I wanted to emphasize it. The same melody is repeated but with a different harmony beneath. A great composition and arranging technique you can use, especially when pentatonic melodies are involved. Those will fit almost any chord of the key and while they are the same, they sound different because the changing harmonies are transforming them. So, we kept almost the same harmony from the intro. I just relocated some chords to make them a better fit. As your composition is going further, you will add more elements to it. So, I included here. Percussions. Very important for epic compositions. They emphasize the flow and pulse of your piece and they sound very tribal. Also good for the epic part here. Everything depends on the visual scene you're making music for. If the movements in the scene are fast, the tempo should be faster, and it can be represented with strong rhythm elements. The sub bass. After the gravity tool, this is another modern segment. I love Trap Mafia 808 subs, and this one is just the right one. 808 Trap Sub. After presenting the intro melodies played by instruments of your choice, you would want to change them. Here we have a new theme, but also build up to the next one, without the strings and with chord accompaniment in keys. When you make transitions, you should always create the impression that something important is going to happen, and you must keep your audience engaged. Transitions will help you do that, and will create tension and release in your arrangement. If you want to hear more on this topic, then check out our song structure and arrangement course, the link will be in the description. Taking a look at the main theme, for this I use the existing structure one small ending segment from the intro to make a variation out of it. If you have a good melody progression or just a short part you like, you can make plenty of variations out of it. So that's what I did here. Remember the harf melody? This time it is played by the strings in a higher octave. What gave it another perspective are the other melodies I introduced here. This technique is called polyphony and I recommend using it for this type of tracks. It's when you have a couple of different melodies played together and each one is interesting enough that can act independently. It is the opposite of the homophonic principle, when just one melody is dominant, played by one or several instruments and supported by chords and harmonies. Let's see that in this example. The high strings are playing the melody from before and the keys, bass and low strings are playing another one. These two themes became one, with different note durations and intervals they rhythmically and harmonically complement each other. A great polyphony example, you can hear and sing both themes independently, 
They work well together even though they are different and still there comes a point when they meet and play the same thing. The third melody is played by harps and this one is based on the rhythmical pattern from the transition part, but has melodic structure of the main section themes. You can always experiment with polyphony, just pick a melody and loop it, then play another one above and search for the one you like. Another great thing when you use it, you can later extract each melody and make different segments from them by using homophonic principle. Just add some harmony background beneath each one and easily organize your musical structure. A lot of crescendo for the final tonal chord is something you can do with the velocity automation. And that's it. You have your epic and resolved progression. So that was all for today. The very basics of creating an epic orchestra track. If you'd like me to talk about it from a more advanced perspective, just post a comment below. And if you want to upgrade your music theory knowledge and song arrangement skills, then take a look at the courses I already mentioned. Music theory for EDM producers and song arrangement course. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.